Hey, you know, suppose after the, the last game against Everton, that was just what you wanted tonight. Yeah, definitely. I think um, even not looking at the scoreline, just the performance was, it was just, a, I don't even say bounce back because I don't think we needed to, but it was just mm. positive, um, fast flowing, everything that, you know, we looked really confident from minute one to, to minute 90. So, um, yeah, exactly what we needed after that, after that game. And an early goal as well makes a great difference, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, makes such a difference. It means we can control the game. We're not, off, not in such a rush to kind of keep pressing, keep um, keep going forward. We can like use the ball and, and keep keep those opportunities going to, to score a goal. First one's a little bit fortunate with the deflection, but there's nothing lucky about the second one, wasn't there? That's a beauty of a header from Chloe Arthur. Yeah, no, I think um, even the first one, as Claire was an absolute nuisance um, mm. up top for us. She, she was forcing things, she was forcing them into mistakes. She was always uh, creating something for us. So I think she does deserve a lot of cre credit for that goal because she did she did make it happen with everything that she was doing for us, which is great. And yeah, uh, absolutely superb header from from um, Chloe to um, to kind of give us that 2 0 cushion, which was um, really, really helpful going into um, half time. But the team was playing with a lot of freedom in the first half, weren't they? And especially at the start of the second half as well. You could have had several more. I mean, Lauren Dykes, for example, could have had a couple. Claire could have had a couple more. And, you know, you almost could have got several more than you did. Yeah, and we'll take great confidence from the fact that we had those opportunities to, um, to maybe, you know, get a few more goals but um, we will take great confidence from the fact we went so close and we obviously still managed to score four so mm. I still think we're, we you know we're being very clinical and we've you know we know we can go several levels higher and go further. Well, one that might get the headlines but no disrespect to yourself <laughs> is uh, Lauren Hemp coming off the bench and scoring but in six minutes of coming on her debut my goodness she looks quick and one heck of a prospect doesn't she? Yeah Lauren's um, a very very great um, young player she's got bags of confidence bags of pace she's Everyone's really excited to get her playing more and more because um, she looks, yeah, just a very bright prospect for us. And I think she'll she'll play a, a very key role for these in these last three games now for us. Um, you know, age apart, she's she's a big player for us. Well, at the very very least, because she could be a really good impact player, couldn't she? Well, yeah, at the very least, um, and that's something um, we can really add to our game now. Um, that impact player, or from the start, I think she can she can have a real impact as well. You must mention the last goal, of course. You're deadly from that range, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but it's um, nice to score my first goal for the club. Definitely um, been here my second season now, and um, really nice to get on the score sheet and just try and help that goal difference a little bit more. And now looking beyond here, the next two games, obviously all three are going to be very important. The next two are particularly big ones against Durham and Everton. You've got Durham coming up in a couple of weeks' time. That's going to be a six-pointer, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, like I said, every game now is, is so, so important. Um, yeah, Durham, they're a great team and you know, it'll be a tough match, but we'll take a lot of confidence from the fact that the game's going to be here at home. We've got a great record here. Um, we love playing here with behind our, in front of our supporters and um, I definitely think we'll be very confident going into that one. And obviously it's very important being in your position. You're in front. It's better to be hanging on, isn't it, than chasing, I think. Hanging on in... Well, hanging on in second... Not, you know, better to be ahead and leading, I should say, rather than chasing and trying to catch up points at this time of year. Yeah, to be honest, it is, you know, it's closer than it should be from our perspective. I think we, we know that ourselves we should have done better um, earlier in the season, but you can't um, talk about those things. We just literally take each game as it comes. Every game we just want three points and we want to get as many goals as we can, regardless of who the opponent is or what other teams are doing. Obviously now, playing on Saturday, we can sit back tomorrow and just we've done our business, we've done our job, so it's a nice thing for us. It's a very young side you've got here, and when you brought the subs on, it got even younger, the likes of Paige Sawyer <laughs> coming on as well. What's it like for yourself? Not exactly a veteran yourself, but uh, what's it like to be playing with girls at that age? No, I, yeah, it's great. I relish the opportunity. That, um, especially the youngsters we've got here, are, they're so, so talented. So, it, it, you know, you, you don't take anything, you know, lightly. Um, a girl's coming on, Paige has come on numerous times before. I've got loads of confidence in her coming on and doing a job. Um, obviously, we've seen what Lauren can do and there's there's plenty more youngsters, um, Emily and Poppy, just to name a few, who can, who can do a great job. And in the meantime, a couple of internationals coming up with Wales against Israel and Austria, a good chance to perhaps finish off the group on a strong note. Yeah, obviously we, we can't qualify, um, which is disappointing for us, but um, yeah, we'll definitely take those two, uh, two great games for us um, in terms of building blocks for next year and obviously the World Cup qualifiers um, that occur in this winter. So um, preparation will be as, as stringent as ever and we'll definitely be looking to get a strong positive result in those two games.
Well, we wish you the very best of luck with them. I'm in Bristol City, of course. Thanks for coming and talking to us tonight. So, Hayley, well done on your goal. I didn't realise it was actually your first goal for the club, but congratulations yeah. <laughs> on that. Thank you. Thank we wish you the very best of luck for the rest of the season. Thanks, Cheers, thank you very much. Thanks, Hayley. Cheers.